What's going on, Total Nation? What's your here bringing you episode 44 single shenanigans? As you can see, it's mono type, like I told you guys last, ep last episode, and we're doing something special. It's mono ghost, yes, in relation to Halloween that just passed. Yes, it's a ghoulish day for us, anyways. I was gonna do this for Halloween, but I had to go trick or treating with my son and my family, and you know, that's priority. Trick or treating is priority, and my son was a nice little wolf, and my wife was a she wasn't a she was little red riding hunt so it was a ghost of little red riding hunt and i was a little monster i had like a cool little mask it was pretty cool anyways so you can see my team here i got i well, i got trevin and i got mega gangar i know uber and then i got aegis slash uber i got choice scarfed a uh, weakness policy age slash i got choice scarfed um oh my gosh what's your name why can't i think lantern Lantern. I'm just gonna call it Lantern. I always forget their names at the last moment. Uh, uh, and then I got Drift Bloom here with the Citrus Berry. And then I got my Leftovers. Um, whatever his name is. Oh my gosh, I just told you. Dust Noir. Dust Noir. Dust Noir. So we're gonna hit that challenge button. Let's get going. Last episode we went two and one. Yes, and we brought our record back up to 20. We brought our record up to 21 and 17. Yes, yes. But anyways, before we get started with this battle and before we get an opponent, please smash that like button, smash that subscribe button so you can be part of Tornation. Yes, here we go. 1616 rating from Japan. Oh my gosh, this guy has a hundred more points than us in the rating department. But look at his team. It's a pretty good team. It's a pretty good 6v6 team by any ways. So he's got the Dragonite, the Talonflame, Easy Button. Again, Talonflame, Mr. Easy, Mr. Mr. Easy Button, T-Tar. We got two sand Pokemon Titar. They got the Hip Hippowdon, Espeon, and I think it's Espeon. Yeah, that's Espeon because black one's Umbreon. Espeon, and then they got Empoleon, Shady P, the Shady P. So who am I going to bring? I feel like he's gonna bring. I don't think he's gonna bring the. Oh man, he may bring the Espeon. He may bring the Espeon, but the Espeon is weak to everything I have. Honestly, I feel like he's gonna bring the Talonflame, Titar, and maybe Dragonite. Maybe Dragonite. So I think I'm going to lead off with, hmm, let me lead off with Aegis, Aegis Slash does work. I'm going to lead off with Aegis, oh man, but if he has that Town Flame, lead off with Aegis Slash, I'm going to bring, oh, I should have, I'm going to bring Gengar, and I think I'm going to bring Chandelure for that Empoleon, if he brings Empoleon. So I'm going to bring Chand Chandelure. This is going to be a rough battle here because that Talonflame, Talonflame destroys everything. I hate Talonflame so much. Talonflame will take out Gengar all day. But if he goes for a Brave Bird and or U-Turn with Talonflame, if he leaves off a Talonflame, I can go for the King Shield and hit him up, hit him up. But that's if he doesn't go for a Will-O-Wisp because it could be a supportive, defensive Talonflame. And we all know how that worked out last time. Burnt the crap out of my team. So he leads off with the Empoleon. Okay. Okay, it's fine with me. I'm gonna hit him with the Sacred Sword here because I feel like he's gonna go for a Scald and or some type of other move. I'm not gonna bother. So he goes for the Stealth Rock. I'm gonna hit him with this nice and... Well, it's not stab because I'm a Ghost. I'm gonna go Steel. It's nice and Sacred Sword here. and This is gonna do a lot of damage to him. Boom, super effective. It doesn't do nearly as much as I really wanted it to. And I'm gonna gear, I am gonna go. Man, I wonder if a Shadow Sneak will kill from here. Will a Shadow Sneak kill an Empoleon? Empoleon. So let's Empoleon, and let's go with Aegis Slash. Shadow Sneak would do about 22%. I don't think he's at 22%. So I'm just going to go for a King Shield. Almost press Swords Dance. Almost messed up. I'm going to go for a Swords Dance. Because I feel like he's going to go for a Scald here. And or Earthquake. But hopefully he goes for an Earthquake. Hopefully he goes for an Earthquake on next turn. And get my Weakness Policy up. So then if a Talon Flame does... He goes for the Hydro Pump. Which is good. It's good for me. And he's going to hit me. Hopefully he misses this Hydro Pump. I'm going to go for Sacred Sword again. So I, I ensure that I take him out. Hydro Pump's not, oh my gosh, that Hydro Pump did way more than I thought it was supposed to do. I'm in defense mode, are you kidding me? Hydro Pump, holy crap. 
he must be an offensive. Uh, wow, nope, a hydro pump does do 81%. Holy crap. Now I was thinking maybe I should go for the shadow sneak there and hope for that. So here I'm going to go for the shadow sneak on this Espeon here. So I don't think he brought his talent flame unless he's holding his talent flame for the end. So I'm going to go for the shadow sneak here. This shadow sneak should do a lot to this Espeon. Over half. Over half. If I had a swords dance, I would be golden right now. Be golden. Be golden. I sh oh man. If only if only. If only if only. Should have went for it on the first time, and then I would o-code his whole team. So I'm gonna bring it. Actually, yeah, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna bring in Mega Gengar here. Mega Gengar. Gengar so awesome, so awesome. If it was my focus size Gengar, I'd be so pissed right now. But it's not. Actually, it is my focus. No, is this my? This is not my. This is not my Mega Gengar. This is. My, I think this is my Black Sludge Gengar. Or is it my Black Sludge Gengar? Oh my gosh, did I bring the wrong Gengar? I think I did. No, this is my Choice Specs Gengar. That's why. Yes, it's my Choice Specs Gengar. Cause and he brought... This is going to be resisted as he's Dark type. Should have went for the Dazzling Gleam. Should have went for the Dazzling Gleam. He's going to do absolutely nothing. And that was a crit. And I'm getting buffered by the Sandstorm. I do have speed. Dazzling Gleam would destroy. So I'm going to go to Chandelure here. I think a Dazzling Gleam from a Gengar will take out an Espeon from where it's at. So, and I think I'm timid. So, he switched out on me. Okay, that's fine. Double switch. We're both going to get hit by the, the Sandstorm. He gets hit first, which is strange. Is he faster? I don't think so. I'm still going to hit it with the Shadow Ball here. Nice and Shadow Ball. It goes for the trick, so it is faster. I wonder if it has a Choice Scarf. That would be funny. Switch out of the target. He obtained... I, wow, we, we exchanged Choice Scarfs. How awesome. What a wasted move. And I'm going to kill you. Thank you. Come on, gun. Wow, Espeon Choice Scarf is faster than a Chandelure with a Choice Scarf. That is funny. That is hilarious. That is funny. Funny, funny, funny. So, T-Tar, I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to hit you with the Shadow Ball. I'm way faster than you. And then my Gengar can come in and wreck shop with Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam on a T-Tar. So he's not... Dazzling Gleam will do about 48%. He goes for the Dragon Dance. He's going to go for the Dragon Dance. I wonder if he will outspeed at plus one. Will he outspeed at plus one? I did get buffered by the Sandstorm. Will he outspeed my... I don't know. I'm pretty sure he'll outspeed my Chandelure. If he doesn't outspeed my Chandelure, then I should be... But if he gets two D-Dances off, then I am not in a good mood. And he will... He does outspeed! Oh my gosh, he gets two D dances off, and I'm not gonna do anything. He's he's setting up all over me. Can I get a crit or can I get a special D drop? Sandstorm does subside, so his special defense isn't gonna be as high. Can he get greedy and can I get a crit? Can he get greedy and can I get a good crit? He's gonna go for crunch, of course. He's gonna outspeed my Gengar, no. No way I'm going to survive any of this. Oh my gosh. I should have just went for Energy Ball. Energy Ball would have been the smarter move. The Espeon wouldn't have outsped and he would have been choiced into Trick. Oh my gosh. Who would have thought? Hopefully I can outspeed, which I'm not. He Crunch, and I'm dead. That's a dead Gengar. So we go 0-1 on our first battle again. Oh my gosh. Should have went for the Energy Ball. That was mistake by me big big mistake by me oh, oh it's okay it's okay I just get mad at myself for mistakes mistakes should have went for the energy ball should have went for the energy ball so it's alright we dropped the first one we dropped the first one last episode 
Let's see, I haven't really been battling with this Mono Ghost. And Mono Ghost is really rough. If anyone has any type of stab move that will destroy them, they are done. They are done. So I'm going to hit challenge button again. Can't believe it, man. I had it I had it in the bag, too. I had it in the bag. If I would, uh, who would have known that Espeon was choice scarfed? I should have just should have went with my gut and went for energy ball for that get ready for that T-Tar because that T-Tar wouldn't have liked an energy ball at all. No energy ball. T-Tar would not like an energy ball. Anyways, so my opponent here has two water types, an electric, grass, fire, and a steel type. So he has a zoom roll. Greninja, Rapidash, Trevenant, Ampharos, and that stupid steel bird that I can't think of its name. Why? It's always one. It's always one Pokemon. I can't remember its name. Steel bird. I'm just going to call it Steel bird because I cannot remember names at all. That's probably going to be the name of this video. Steel bird. Steel bird. Anyways. Mono Ghost. Who am I going to use? Is it going to bring Trevenant? No, I don't think he's going to bring Trevenant. Hmm, I think I'm gonna bring Drift Bloom. What, what do they have for? Oh, if he leads off with Greninja though, Greninja would go for Dark Pulse and Dark Pulse. If he does go for Dark Pulse, Age of Slash will wreck shop. Let me bring. I'm gonna lead off with Age of Slash. Lead off with Age of Slash here. I'm gonna bring Dust Noir, and you know I'm just gonna. Hmm. He brings fire, fire to the fight. So you can bring. Oof. Hmm. 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 I'm gonna bring Gengar. I'm going to bring Gengar. I kind of want to bring a Drift Bloom. I'll probably bring Drift Bloom on the next. So I'm bring Gengar. So those are the three Pokemon I'm gonna bring: Aegis Slash again, Gengar, and Dust Noir. Dusk Noir. Oops. Oops. I dropped my makeshift stylist because uh, I lost all my other stylists for some reason. That's what happens when you have a child. A two year old child who runs around your room and grabs things. Yes. Children don't have any. Just kidding. Because then we would now have you guys in Pokemon. And of course, he leads off with this Steel Bird. It's going to set up rocks all day on me. I really have nothing to hit it with. Except for Gengar. Gengar can destroy him. But I'm just going to set up Swords Dance. I'm going to set up Swords Dance here because I feel like he's just, yep, Stealth Rocks. Stealth Rocks. And get Swords Dance up. Swords Dance. And he's probably the Rocky Helmet type. I wonder what he's going to go for. What does he really even do to me? Now I'm going to set up another Swords Dance. Forget it. Forget it. F it. Swords Dance it up. And I'm faster. Are you kidding me, Steel Bird? You are slow. You are straight defensive. Goes for the Whirlwind. Okay. Okay, I see you out here, big dog, on your wolf. Wolf. You may be faster than my Dust Noir. Oh, man. Well, good thing, because I kind of didn't want to go for a move on him. Ooh, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'm going to hit you with that Will-O-Wisp, though. Hopefully, I'm faster. Am I faster? Is Dust Noir faster than Steel Bird? What is your name? Break it now. Oh my gosh. I can't think of your name right now. It's annoying me. You need to stop talking about it. It's my dance. Goes for the Sky Drop. Okay. Wow. So no Pokemon on the field. And I get a little bit of my leftovers. Almost at full. Well, once he drops me, I'm going to go for that Will O Wisp. Because my Will O Wisp missed. So he hits me with that Sky Drop. It's probably not going to do much because I am defensive. Absolutely nothing. And I'm going to get this will list off. We're just going to sit here and kill each other. You keep keep going for sky drops. Or go for a whirlwind. Whirlwind me out of here, bro. Whirlwind, whirlwind me out of here. I'm actually going to predict him to switch. I feel like he's going to switch. So I'm going to go for another will list. Maybe. Maybe because he knows he can't do anything to me. And this burn will rack up more damage than he's going to rack up to me. So he does switch. Great prediction by me. Could have went for Pursuit, but I actually want to get a burn on his other Pokemon. So I'm going to burn his freaking Trevenant here. Get out of here, Trevenant. Go to sleep. He's probably going to hit me in his Shadow Claw. Please don't be Lumberry. Don't be Lumberry like mine. 
He's not Lumberry. Thank the Lord. And I'm faster. That's my leftovers hit first, and then he got burnt. So I am gonna go for a Shadow Snake here, because I feel like he's gonna go for a Shadow Claw. And him with the Shadow Snake. This is super effective damage. Shadow Claw is not gonna do nearly as much as. Oh, he's gonna go for. Oh, thank God I avoid the attack. Ooh, what will do more, Pursuit or Shadow Snake? I think Pursuit is has a higher base. Is he is he Citrus? He is Citrus. Harvest Citrus. Ooh, this is gonna be rough. But he's gonna has he's gonna be getting burnt. So okay, let me check this real quick though. Dustmore, summary, check move, pursuit is 40. Shadow Sneak is 40, so they're both 40. Doesn't really matter. He's gonna go for Toxic again. Do I really have anyone that wants to take a Toxic? Summary, you're a poison type. Oh yeah. Let's go into Gengar. Gengar! Because I feel like you're gonna go for Toxic again. Hopefully, he doesn't go for Shadow Claw. Because if he goes for Shadow Claw, I am screwed! Gengar does not want to take a Shadow Claw. Does not want to take a Shadow Claw. He goes for the Toxic, doesn't affect Gengar. Get out of here. You're going to go down right now. He harvested again. Good thing he didn't get under his... Oh, so he probably would have been full health. And here, I'm going to go for the Stab. Choice Specs. Shadow Ball. You're dead. Good move by me switching out into the Gengar. And it's a crit. A crit. Are you kidding me? It's a useless crit. Hey, if you guys didn't see, look at my shirt. Look at the good... The bad, the bubbly. I think it says bubbly. Let's see. No, no, I don't know what I'm doing. Yep, the bubbly. It says the bubbly. Yeah, Cause he's not ugly. He's awesome. I am faster than this Rapidash. I don't hit him with the Shadow Ball. I think, unless it's Choice Scarf. I am faster, cause I'm a Gengar. Gengar's super fast, and this should. And it destroys that Rapidash. Get out of here, Rapidash. Go back to your tier. Get out of single shenanigans. Because this is a single shenanigans. Ghost type mono. Mono ghost. Out here grinding. And he sends out the Skamori. Oh my gosh, I remember the name now. It's Skamori, guys. Holy crap. Who would have thought I, at the last minute I remember Skamori? And it's burned. The match was forfeited. He forfeits the match. So we win the second match. Okay, so we're 1 1 with his ghost. Mono ghost. I can't believe he forfeited the match. I was gonna get a nice 3-0, 3-0 victory, but it still it still counts. Still counts. We're one one, guys. One one. It's gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a little longer than that. I'm not gonna save that. Though. The first one, the first battle was a long, was a long battle. And right, let's continue to battle and let's hit that battle box team. Let's get this going, guys. One more win. Can we get one more win? Continue our streak of two and one, two and one victories around here. Oh my gosh. It's, so it's all we're good at is getting two and going two and one. Hopefully I don't jinx myself. Let's knock on some wood. Sorry for shaking the can, but I had to knock on that wood, guys. Let me get a little drink of water here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another French person, Nelly. I didn't get to see their rating, but they have a Gengar. Them. Oh, oh my gosh, Torkoal, Gengar, Charizard, Gallade, um, Dark type. What is his name? Um, I think, oh my gosh, I'm thinking of his pre-evolution. Oh my gosh, I was actually going to bring him too. Pot, uh, anyways, and then they got the, uh, the turtle, Turtwig. I think it's Turtwig. I think it's Turtwig. Or Turtwig's evolved form. Turtwig. Let's see, I'm looking this up because I am bad with Pokemon names for some reason. What is your final evolved form, Turtwig? Torterra. Torterra and then Dusclops? Dust that's not Dusclops. Something. Dual Blade. I can't remember his name. Oh my gosh. I remember at the end like I did last time. I am terrible guys. I apologize. Terrible at Pokemon. Who's he gonna lead off with? Charizard? No. He's gonna lead off with Mr. Swords Dance down there? Maybe. What can I hit him with? Age Slash? Are we gonna bring Age Slash again? Drift Bloom. All you can do is minimize stockpile. You really? I don't know if I really want to bring you. Do I really want to bring you? No, I want to win. 
Age Slash. We're bringing Age Slash. We're going to bring. I'm going to bring Gengar again? No. I'm going to bring Trevenant. I feel like Trevenant's going to do work. Gengar for Gengar. And you know what? We're going to bring Gengar again. I, bring Tre I should have brought Drift Bloom. Should have brought the whole left side. But I'm sorry, guys. Sorry. I kind of want to win this one. I want to go 2 and 1. 2 and 1. Should have brought Drift Bloom the first match. Ooh, apologize for the mic. Oh my gosh. Guys. I kind of regret not bringing. Drift Bloom should have just brought it. Uh, anyways, so leads off a of Charizard. Ooh, I have a feeling they're gonna be lead off a of Charizard. I really don't want to lose. Well, well, what do you mean? I really don't. Huh? Is he gonna go for a D dance or is he gonna go? That is an awesome name, Drake Halfoy. Drake Halfoy, or whatever. That is amazing. I may name my Charizard that. That is awesome. That is awesome. What is he gonna go for? Flare Blitz right off the bat? Nagivolve Flare Blitz? It, or Flamethrower? I'm just gonna go for the sake of, Oh, it's resist though, but... I don't want him to go for a D-Dance. Now I'm just gonna go for Sacred Sword here. As he Mega Evolves. He's Charizard Y too. Oh my lord. So he's not good. He's gonna move the Flamethrower, so... If I can survive this flamethrower, guys, I will get my weakness policy off. But I don't think I will because drought is deadly. Can I survive? He goes for fly. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why would you go for fly? This must be in-game team. This must be an in-game team. Because why would you go for fly on an age slash? Because now you're 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 Charizard Y. Charizard Y. Why would you do that, Charizard Y? Did you predict me to switch out? No. I'm just gonna go for Sacred Sword again. If he goes for Fly, I'm just gonna King Shield again. Until his attack will do nothing to me. That is ridiculous. I am... I am baffled. What are you... Flare Blitz? Okay, this is not gonna do nearly as much as... We should be using Charizard X. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I kind of feel bad now. I kind of feel bad. Oh my gosh. Damage, but any. Oh my gosh, this this is a plus two sacred sword, even though it, I think it's resistant because you're a flying type. Ooh, does nothing. Either. So what are you gonna go for here? I'm gonna go for a king shield again because I feel like you can go for flare blitz. And if I Harshly lower your attack some more. This is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be amazing. Goes for the heat wave. Okay. Okay. I see you. Uh, I see you, big dog, and your wolf wolf. I'm gonna hit you with that shadow snake because we're gonna go for heat wave again. And I should be able to take you out. Maybe. Maybe. Stab. It's stab. It's, it's not resisted. And I do, and you don't have any defenses because you're Charizard Y. And you're down. Go away. The sunlight does fade, which is good, I guess. And I'm at plus two for free because he went for Flare Bliss the second time with minus two attack. It's a Charizard Y. This must be an in-game team. I don't know what to do against this Pokemon here. I'm going to go for King Shield. feel like he's going to go for an attack. Hopefully he doesn't go Scalp. Scalproy. That's his name. Scalproy. Oh my gosh, what's your name? I can't, I can't remember. Dust. Bisharp. That's his name. Bisharp. Goes for the Iron Head. I'm not even worried now. Gets the Defiant though. Oh my gosh. So he's back at neutral. Okay. So an Iron Head shouldn't do much to me. As I am still type. And it is. Yeah, it's resisted. So good night. Plus two. Sacred Sword. Super effective. I flinched and I couldn't move. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh, out of all the things that happen, I get flinched. I guess we're going back and forth. King Shield, Iron Head. King Shield, Iron Head. Minus two, plus two. So Night Slash. So minus two, and now you're gonna get plus two. So you're back to even. And this Night Slash is going to hurt because yeah, it's nice that he's going to take me out, most likely. 
Oh, he can't believe he got that flinch. Can I survive? I do not survive. Oh my gosh, that flinch. That flinch. Oh, I couldn't go for Shadow Snake because it's resisted. Oh my gosh. upsets me going for a dazzling gleam I do outspeed and you have terrible special defense bit sharp so this should take you out and it does oh it's a crit it's a crit get out of it actually it's neutral because you're still dark you're dark steel you're dark steel you're dark steel blue ranger dark steel and you're psychic you're psychic fighting dazzling gleam it's gonna hurt. Dazzling Gleam. Actually, no. Yeah, it should. It should. This should hurt. Gengar versus a Gleam. But you are specially defensive. Oh no, get out of here. You have no special defense at all. Get. Ooh. Well, I am a. I think, yeah, I am a timid choice. Choice specs Gengar. So we do win our last battle, guys. Oh my gosh. Take that. Take that. Take that, but I feel kind of bad because that, that team felt like it was an in-game team. Uh, that kind of hurts. No, I'm not going to say that. Well, again, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you guys for watching. Please smash that like button if you liked what you saw, if you liked the mono ghost, and if you like, if you want to see me do any more mono types, leave a comment in the comment. Dis or down the, in that area, in that area, leave a comment if you guys want to see me do any more mono, mono type stuff because I do enjoy doing mono type. The mono ghost. I like it. And it was a ghoulish adventure. Anyways, ghouly, ghoulish. Oh, my God. Anyways, have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good evening. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>